Hey there guys, Ectomaster here, we're back in Heroes of the Storm. It's Tuesday evening, so you know what that time is. It is time for Hero Hero the Update! That's right, it is time for the weekly episode where I take a look at any news, releases, the uh, hero rotation, any sales that are going on, any new bundles, any new skins, that type of thing. Talk about anything that is out there. Now, I'm going to be redundant and co recover uh, just a little bit of the um, PAX East news that we had from Blizzard about Heroes of the Storm. It is definitely worth taking a look at again because we had some really exciting stuff coming. Mainly uh, dealing with the new hero, new uh, arena, battleground, whatever, map. Look, it's the new thing that's coming. Okay? Okay. So, first and foremost, we're going to talk about what they announced. So, they said Sylvanas will be on the next patch. Now, that wasn't today, so, boop, no patch today. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We have, I am, I am dealing with a little bit <coughs> of allergies. Uh, Sylvanas has... Quite a few different things. Uh, she ha uses Withering Fire, which is the Q option. Fires the closest unit, prioritizing heroes, has five charges, and can be used while on the move. Uh, she also needs to recharge her Q by observing minion souls. Unclear if it requires last hits, but it seems like she needs to be around when they die. Shadow Dagger, which is the W action, uh, seems to be have a very short range, spreads its effect over time. Corruption is her trait. Any damage she deals through any skill or auto attacks disables minions, mercs, and structures. Haunting Wave, Sylvanas' body stays behind and she can be killed during the dis delay. Apparently can be spec to great stealth while the wave travels. Her two ultimate Wailing Arrow shoots an arrow and needs to be activated again to explode, silencing enemies. Or Possession, which is her second option. Um, it says it's not very useful in big fights. It's not going to turn an entire team fight around, but it creates a new factor to be considered. Mercs can be turned against teams. Seems to have a very low cooldown for lane minions. Just to give you an idea, I am getting this news from HeroesNexus.com. They also announced a new Tomb of the Spider Queen. It was a small map and looked really cool. I can't wait to see. Um, boo. Uh, they also do new user interface changes. They want to have very different maps. Uh, they want to hear feedback on the matchmaker and are they hear feedback on the matchmaker and are working on improving it. Um, basically, there's going to be also the removing of talent gating and quite a few things. Now, unfortunately, Sylvanas is not coming this week because there is no patch today, so that will be coming and the next she will be in the next patch so i am super excited i can't wait i will definitely get sylvanas when she's released anyways we're here to look at the hero rotation as well as this week's sale so let's go ahead and take a look at the heroes so i am going to well, i was playing a little bit of uh of uh because um, i have to play like eight games um i was playing a little bit of jaina Let's take a look at our hero rotation. So, if you are level 1 through 11, you get these following heroes. You get Elite Torrin Chieftain, Lily, Nova, Rhaegar, and Tyrael. Now, if you are level 12 to 14, you have the added bonus of Asmodan. And if you are level 15 and higher, you get Jaina. So there you have it. We'll go ahead and take a look at the shop, and we'll take a look at the sales that are going on. We'll start right with the hero sale. So for this week, for 50% off at $4.99, I'm sorry, $4.24, you can get Toronto Whisperwind. <clears throat> she is a melee, a range support, not a melee support, I apologize, range support. So she's on sale for 50% off. There are also two skins for sale. I think they're on the third or fourth page. Yep, fourth page. To go alongside Taronda, you also get the Blood Elf version of her. And we'll go ahead and skip two. You also have a chance to get Stitches for 50% off as well. Now, both of these skins are on sale for $4.99, so 5 bucks. So if you want to get Chef Stitches finally or Blood Elf Taronda, you can do so. Going over to the bundles, we don't really have anything new. It's just the Nexus bundle, the starter bundle, and then the battle bundle. 
excuse me. Now the starter bundle and the battle bundle are both forty dollars. Uh, the ooh, I'm just burping. I'm sorry. The Nexus bundle and the battle bundle are both forty dollars. Uh, the Nexus bundle is definitely the <coughs> well, look who it is. the better deal out of all of it, as you do get a lot more. Um, the difference is the battle bundle is basically the founders the pack. Story. So this is the founders pack. Um, for those who are already in game, you get the 2,500 bonus gold, uh, the three heroes as well as the three skins, and the golden cyber golden wolf or golden cyber wolf. Whereas this one, well, <clears throat> you get all this. That's a lot more. I think that's better bang for your buck. Anyways, that is it for this week, guys. There's not much else to go over. Uh, well, hopefully next week we'll have a patch and we'll get uh, you know Sylvanas with it. So again. Next week, we'll bring another edition of Hero of the Update. Day. 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 Until then, I will see you guys in the next round.